director's office. First, let me express my disappointment to have to follow Jane Golden. <laughs> I'm just saying. You don't understand. Please proceed. Good afternoon, Council President Clark and members of Council. I am Rich Negrin, Managing Director of the City of Philadelphia. With me today are Mary Stitt, my new Chief of Staff, and Dave Wilson, our first Deputy Managing Director. A very short summary of my testimony we've submitted the larger version in writing, so I'm going to try to be very brief this afternoon. The, I'm happy to report that the general fund budget reflects an overall decrease of 827000 over a prior year. The total proposed budget for the Office of the Managing Director is $79 million, with $6.2 derived from the Grants Revenue Fund and $72 million derived from the general fund. This budget reflects the net effect of investments in our employees in succession planning, in employee development with the Center of Excellence, with a reduction of council fees to reverse a one-time additional expense in fiscal year 13 of 1.2 million, and the transfer of personnel costs for staff who now report to the mayor's office. You, you heard about that earlier today from Mr. Gillison. Throughout fiscal year 13, the Office of the Managing Director has driven key initiatives in furtherance of the mayor's goals, and we have fostered an environment of continuous improvement. The Office of the Managing Director focused on and developed several initiatives, including providing diverse and exciting events through the Office of Special Events that strives to position Philadelphia as a city of choice, including the expansion of services provided by Philly 311 so that we can better reach and respond to our citizens, including providing guidance and training opportunities to city employees through the city's customer service program. Literally hundreds and hundreds of city employees have been trained on customer service including reaching more neighborhoods in need through Philly Rising, including creating the Center of Excellence, which encompasses Philly stat, the city's performance management system, organizational development, and project management to enhance the performance of city departments and to support our employees, overseeing the animal care and control group, providing administrative resources for various programs, such as the Community Life Improvement Program, our CLIP program, and the Mayor's Office of Reintegration Services for Ex-Offenders, RISE. The Office of the Managing Director also oversees, as you know, key infrastructure departments from an operational side. The Office of Fleet, the Office of Human Resources, the Office of Innovation and Technology, the Procurement Department, the Department of Public Property, and of course our Records Department. We also have, I, I think in our department, in our staff, a very strong and real commitment to diversity. A commitment to serving our city's diverse constituency is represented in the diversity within our department staff. We recognize the importance of diversity and what a strength it is, and we strive to be reflective of the city's diversity. This commitment is demonstrated by the diverse backgrounds of the executive level team and the entire MDO staff. I'm proud to report that approximately 86% of our executive level team and 56% of the entire MDO staff self-identify themselves as people of color. In relation to gender, our executive level team consists of 57% women, and the entire MDO staff consists of 51% women. I am proud that our team reflects the diversity of our city while also providing excellence and service to all of our citizens. I'm proud to say that you can do both. To summarize, the overall changes within this general fund, as I stated, reflect an 800 thousand dollar reduction over prior year and we hope to continue to improve and be a catalyst for positive change throughout government thank you for the opportunity to testify and i look forward to answering your questions <laughs> 